Oh, he's saying yes, is he? Call me babies, call me babies. Hey, babies. Mommy got you a spear just in Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey little ones, I am from the future. I am Terminator T5000, and I'm here to tell you your stepdaddy will not be there next year. So y'all gonna have to find another stepdaddy. And uh, wake up if you want to live. <laughs> What's up, Koya and Ken folks? Welcome back to another video of Courtney and Eddie. I'm Eddie, a.k.a. E. Doug. This is my lovely wife. Courtney, also known as Coco. This right here is Courtney and Eddie. This channel is all about relationship, reviews, and entertainment. And tonight, we're going to be talking about Red Love, the final episode of the season. For the reason. Yeah. My, so if you're brand new to this racket. channel and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Facebook, what's up? What's up? What's up? Make sure that y'all like, follow, comment, and do all the stuff. Share. Push it up in your algorithm. Push it, push it, push it. So, um, yeah. And don't forget that we are still going to continue to do a what? A rewards. Rewards. A awards ceremony. Uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, uh, Ready to look. Award, award ceremony, ceremony for the best yada 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 different categories. In the words yada 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 yeah. and all that stuff. Y'all know we we the one that created it. Yeah. What do we call it? Our very own. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, Ready to love co -ed. Yeah, that. And if you want to nominate somebody a category, drop down in the comments. Let us know what kind of category you want uh, to nominate because we, of course, going to have somebody to do the hosting. So we just don't know who they will be yet. But stay tuned. Oh, All right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and don't you all see this new Juneteenth shirt? Ain't it cute? It is so cute. Y'all make sure y'all go to our website. You should see the website around this video and purchase one today. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into it. So it's the finale. Shout out, Chad, because honey, it, I don't know, just something different about this season. I don't know what it was, just something different, mm. you know. Yeah. yeah. So all the singles are now coming back because they this is the last are show. they? Are they single though? What do you mean? They they group together. They couple together. Basically. Well, they single right now. We don't know who's singular. Be. Singular, singular, yeah. singular. So we don't know who's going to be matched up with who. Not so it. that's what I'm saying. Okay. You know. Um. So Tommy is coming in, basically telling them, "Hey, the ladies got to introduce you guys to somebody in their family." And you know that's kind of how that went. So um, Cynthia still some child. She torn jab between Andre and Anthony. Come on now, we already know that. I don't. I don't think she was torn. I think she was playing the the it role the producers wanted her to play to right. keep people guessing. Yeah, good thing. I mean that's true. So uh, Morgan is introducing her brother to Tony. Brother came in was basically saying, "Child, I'm not here for no mess. I heard what you said. You've been aggressive toward my sister. I found that you're from New York. That makes sense because y'all have aggression and in y'all blood." Yeah, I hear I hear that a lot about people from New York. You know, I guess it's the city, the city that never sleeps. You know, they just always moving around. Always moving. Yeah, so that's and why. They, they, yeah, that's why their personality takes on the city. And I also said, you know, they rude up there too. Oh yeah, I ain't never been. Yeah, I never been in New York either. But yeah, I heard people up there real rude. Uh, but yeah, so the, the brother basically was like telling Tony, "Hey man, I'm watching you, man. You, you better treat my sister right. Don't be come on. Don't be coming with that the bull, the bull, uh, the bull crap." Basically, <laughs> I'm gonna say it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say the bull shenanigans. But yeah. bull, don't be coming with the bull crap and treat my sister right, cause. No, because I heard about the entanglement. You know what was up with that? And when Tony explained the explained the entanglement, it made sense to me. You know he said saying? they were dating. Yeah, it, but you know he was dating 
Uh, Natasha. Natasha before he will start dealing with Morgan. So, uh, hey, you got to give the brother a pass. You know what I'm saying? Dating. Now, when it come out of Morgan's mouth, is one time and one time on yeah, like it was a hidden and quick. Right, because Tony said they went out on a couple of dates. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. So, I don't see nothing with Tony deal with uh, Natasha wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't see it. Um, But, yeah, I think his brother was saying, why you lay down with somebody else and all that stuff, whatever. And Tony explained it yeah. and everything. So, uh, but, yeah, let's move on. So, Tony uh, was <laughs> said to Morgan, uh, oh, yeah, I think that was just saying, you know, but anyway, Chad, we, but the, the brother, the brother did say, you know, he seemed like an I do, but you know, I am watching him and all that stuff, whatever. And Morgan was like, you know, I'm trying to find that he the one for me. What you think about a brother? And he was like, well, the choice is yours. And she said, I don't, I, I ain't got, what, I forgot the choice words that she used. Yeah, but she, she said, like, you know, I'm not going to pull all my cards from the table with Tony, but I will give him an opportunity. Yeah. And the brother said, okay, yeah, I can see that. You can go ahead and give, give him a chance, give him, give him an opportunity to see, see, you know, see where it goes. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, so. It seemed like Morgan just been flippy flop. Now, I, one minute she, oh my gosh, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. My question is, like, when, once we get to the end, I've got this question I want to ask for it. So, Cynthia is inviting her um sister, sisters and her cousins. I'm not sure who was the extra. Was it two sisters or two cousins or yeah, one sister? It was kid folks. Yeah. Kid so, folks. basically. Yeah. um Cynthia gets very emotional. Now, we don't know what the world she done been through, child. Well, but dealing with that ex, she probably been through some things. If I was, if my ex made me feel like that to well up on camera, he would have never got invited to be an ex. I don't care, honey. I would have dug so deep, honey, and yeah. went to somebody I was talking to for two weeks. So I. Mm -mm. And, and and the thing is, you know, her ex has that personality that can probably make her feel the way she feels. You know what I'm saying? For what for what we seen on television, right? Bit. Cynthia was just, you know, crying and saying that, you know, that that family, they know what she done been through. She done been through a lot. Um, even her sisters and cousins get emotional and just saying, hey, basically treat my treat my sister, my cousin right because she has been through Who's a she whole lot. To? Huh? Who's she talking to? She was well, I, I'm just kind of putting okay. that part out there. So um, so Andre coming in, you know, Andrean. He is always Andrean. Like, what you mean by that? It's always just some different just you exactly. know, he, he just, just has own, yeah he just have his he has his own style man it's kind of hard to put your finger on but he just has this unique style about himself um so yeah they asked him what's his intentions and stuff he said that he's just trying to find love and one of them cousins she was like Child. she booking her eyes because i think that was a sister yeah, that yeah. was just a vague, like, I'm trying to find, no, what's your intentions with this woman that's right here in front of you? Andre uh, really didn't, to me, have any intentions with, uh, Cynthia. with Cynthia. You know, so all, he put all his eggs in one basket with Jeffrey. And he just has Cynthia there for a backup. Exactly. Because to me, it seemed like he always saying something um to where cynthia won't pick him or she can just kind of pull back from right him. he right. always saying something vague or something crazy something like that but and, he he don't go too far to push her completely away you know what i'm exactly. saying so he say something just kind of keep her at bay him. yeah um and like somebody said in the comments which i find it to be very um i i, I must agree you know some good observation they said that they feel that um the reason he's choosing jeffrey and he kind of confirmed it tonight is that she is very feminine he did say that yeah, yeah. yeah. and the reason like that she she needs a man yeah yeah she she's very docile very yeah. feminine very it's like weak in a way, you know what I'm saying? Just like that. Don't she don't seem too independent. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, Cynthia on, on the other hand, she's got a little, little tomboyish ways yeah. of her. And plus she's she really independent in my opinion. Yeah, and she like some people say a little bit masculine, you know. That's why I somebody said tomboyish, said, yeah. yeah, somebody say, you know, they like the same height, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, he wants somebody that's maybe just a little bit more softer. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, you know, Jeffrey looks soft. She talks soft. She looked like, uh, help me, strong man. And it makes his ego bluster a little bit more because this woman needs him. She like, she, she's, you know, some men like to rescue women. She's that victim type of woman that she like, you know, she seems like she'd like to be rescued. You like that? 
No, man, I'll get on my nerves. <laughs> Help me. I'll drive right past. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Um, so he also said that, you know, he's dated um a woman in his past, a younger. You like the young one. Yeah, they want to know how young, honey. It makes sense because if he's dating a younger woman, that means the younger woman most likely is going to depend on him. You know what I'm saying? Because they're still young and they're going to look up to him. That's and, true. And, you know, he can probably get that young woman and mold that woman to what he wants, you know. So that's why he likes women. Based on, I won't say he likes women to control. I'm not going to say that, but he likes women that can mold. mold and needs him. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And he said he was a stepdad for five years. Hey. But when she only had one child, there's a yeah. big difference. You know what no. I'm saying? One child compared to three. Whole big different, different ball. Yeah. Um, yeah, and he also said that it almost made it uh, seem like he was still feeling the girl. Like yeah, he, was still... he said he was hurt or something, yeah. man. It's so I wonder if she dumped him. I wonder if she dumped Andre. Mm-hmm. Hey, Andre, you got that curl. I thought you gave it up by now. <laughs> I got to let you go. <laughs> Not the girl. And mm. people want to know what Eddie had on his head. For me? Oh. It is a pony, a poof, like a natural ponytail that I used to wear. You go back to my older videos and when we first got started. And it's just like a little ponytail that you could just wrap around and stuff like that or whatever. It's just kind of like this. Just a little poof. And so, yeah, I keep all that old stuff now, of course, for um, costumes and stuff like that. So that's what he had on his head um let's see so anthony come in i thought andre left but anthony came in at the same time um they would start asking him questions anthony come in right with the questions and stuff so they start talking and just basically saying you know we we please don't hurt our kids our sister you know stuff like that she'd have been through so much or whatever i think one of them said listen you heard him gonna come for you he said dog i done been threatening everything i would love to know what Cynthia been through. I don't know that. You know right. what I'm saying? What what happened in her past to make her swell up and cry every time she thinks about it? You know, something drastic had to happen. And who did what to her? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm just curious. And hopefully before she gets into a, a serious relationship, she can let that baggage go or get some help, some therapy. You know what I'm saying? Because sure. apparently, well, whatever happened is still there. Yeah, she yeah, she immediately started crying. Mm. Um, he said that he works in was it critical care? Critical care. Yeah. I said, okay, Anthony. Oh, I should get getting low. You go a recent school. <laughs> you know what? What? We ain't gonna get no interview with none of these. I people. know, I know. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah we didn't crack them. Yeah, like and y'all probably wonder why y'all don't get interviews. Because this is the reason why because. Either they mad at us, trust me. But we <laughs> don't reach out. Though. Yeah, we don't reach out because I know they probably mad at us. Mm-hmm. Like, you crack on me, you want me to come on your on your channel? Hey man, it's all <laughs> love, man. It's all jokes, man. You can't deal with it. Don't get on the TV. Yeah. So it's it's all in just for us. Yeah. You know, we like to have a good time. But um but still, yeah. Oh my diabetes. I had to come in there with Capo with Reese's Cup on. <laughs> Reese's, <Wow. laughs> no Reese's Cup down. <laughs> Your imagination, man. So, um, let's see. Um, I think we can move on past yeah. that or whatever. So, anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. the thing I think Cynthia, um, she asked, like, you know, who they feeling. I think, you know. The cousins was really saying they seemed like they was feeling more of Anthony. They were, know? they were. So when Cynthia said, "Oh, they feeling both men," no, they were, no, they wasn't. They were feeling Anthony. They was feeling like Andre wasn't ready. He wasn't fully committed. You know what I'm saying? He gave those, gave those, uh, them those vague answers yeah. or whatnot. So he yeah, wasn't right. committed. You know what I'm saying? And but for some reason, Cynthia was keeping on. Hoping, yeah, keeping on hoping that, you know, she had a chance with Andre. 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 So um, let's move on to Mercedes and Vice. I think she said something like she was trying to get her mom to come or something like that. But Mercedes and Vice, her friend, and her friend did not come to play. Oh, you talking about uh, blonde CIA? Yeah, she, she did asked, come to play. She interrogated that dude. Man. Yeah, she um Mercedes let her know, you know, that, you know, if they was to get together, that they'd be in a long-term relationship. And she was like, Red flag. That's Red not gonna flag. fly. 
So Mark Anthony come in and um and she started asking about the long term relationship and so he was saying that he would fly to New York and come to Miami and, and something to Mark like that. Anthony, that's too much trouble, bro. That's <laughs> too I'm for real. That's too much trouble, too much money, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if you got it like that, man. To me, if you feel like if you dating a long distance like a state over, like I put it like this. Past four hundred miles, you can hang it up, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Now you driving like from here to New Orleans or something like that, you can probably make that work. But going from Miami to New York. To all the way up to New York, that's a long ways, bro. That's bro. Long ways, man. It's like try you trying to take somebody from here to California. Ain't no that ain't gonna happen, man. Would you would you um do it for me, knowing who I am now with no, we no. Can't have a long distance relationship. Mm-hmm. Too much space and too much time in between. Things can happen. What can happen? I'm just saying. You might say, "I need a show little cry on." I'm not there. You are gonna find somebody to cry on. Mm-mm, and vice so. versa. You know what I'm saying? I said, "Oh, I need somebody to cook me some home cooked meal." You up there in New York? I gotta find Big Bertha down here. <laughs> That's all I'm looking for is cooking home cook. No, I'm cooking just saying. Home. In the next scene, we got Jeffrey invites her sister. So, I want you to meet my baby. I want you to meet somebody I brought sister. Okay, okay. I want you guys to remember this voice here sister, this week. And pay attention to her voice next week. Okay. <laughs> what happened to that? I'm so meek and in my not next week. <laughs> now she sound like the dude, Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah, what you told about. So anyway, um, so she invited, and of course she invited Andre. Um, he he said, um, Andre just she was actually you know tell me a little bit about yourself, why you're interested in my sister and stuff, and he was just saying that she gets him. You know they can match each other's energy. You know if he's sitting in one place, she in the other place. They could just have all these little vibrations floating in the air, and they get the zoo, 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 and they communicate like that, and they can just feel each other. Well, they aliens or something. In, in other words, they you know they use telepath and to communicate. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty much it. He said that she don't compare to no other woman because no other woman is feminine like her human. You thing. don't. What was that thing? What was that song? You don't compare. Oh God! Yeah, I know that song. Sinead uh, Sinead O'Connor's. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm, it's just some. <laughs> you know, I can hear the song in my head, but bro. it ain't go- yeah, it, it ain't covered out, out yeah. at all, honey. It sound like he's moaning, groaning on toilet. So anyway, so after Andre leaves, the sister said, you know, um, what she gave her opinion about him. She's like, yeah, I like him, but you know, them children's gonna be a problem, honey. And we see sister was right, yeah. So um. Even though, you know, he was a step parent for five years, you know, it's still going to be a different, like you were saying, a different scenario because, you know, it's more true. Yeah, you know, dating a woman with one child compared to three is a big difference, man. Yep. Big difference. You know, one child, you know, you can take that little child to uh, McDonald's, give them a Happy Meal, spend like $5, or you got three, you got to split that one Happy Meal. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like, no, I, I, I ain't gonna be buying no three happy meals. That's it. And then you got one child that gonna say, "This is it. This ain't enough. I'm hey, still hungry." Oh, yeah, too bad. That man. Was, that's what my youngest used to do. He loved to eat, and he was the youngest. But the happy meal did not satisfy him because you know, as a parent, right. that happy meal just right. You ain't trying to go to no McDonald's and spend the same amount of money on your meal as your child. So you try to keep him at that happy meal, you know. Child, he was like, I'm still hungry. So anyway. Yeah, that's some kid the fries counting. Like, you know how you play them cards? <laughs> one fry, one fry, <laughs> one fry. Oh, no. <laughs> so now we at the meetup, thank God. So now we're going to see who is aligned with who, honey, who going home with who. So uh, I just want to say it for the record, all the ladies look beautiful. All of them look gorgeous. So yes. Um, so Mark Anthony is coming out and he is waiting on Mercedes. Mercedes basically said, uh-uh. Bro, this ain't gonna work. Nah, I ain't doing no long long distance relationship, bro. I can't happen. 
And Mark had to look shocked. I'm trying to figure out why, bro. You saw all the hesitation when you brought it up, man. And I said, man, but yeah, she told him no because she said she got to choose herself because she wants somebody that she can have a, a, a solid foundation there in Florida. You know what I'm saying? So. Cause she said she know her words. She done yeah. been through a lot. She done, you know what I'm saying? Just, and, and she just want to be in a place where it's stable. She ain't trying to do no, you know, up and down, back and forth. And to be in no relationship, she was like, she'll walk away from yeah. Here's the thing, Mark Anthony, man. You should have started off with saying, I'm going to New York. Right. Are you willing to still date me, you know, in a long distance relationship? Start off with that, you know, but he didn't start because we didn't know about it till like well a week ago or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, man. So yeah. And then she'll travel. Um, I mean, she's a flight attendant. Yeah. So yeah, that's hard yeah. in itself. So yeah, she chose herself. Mercedes. I'm proud. I like Mercedes. I really like Mercedes. I hope I that bet she you do like Mercedes. I bet you do. Can you tell them why? Because they really don't sound right. Mercedes, cause she told me to get in her car. Mercedes, I said, why are you sing that song to me? Get in my Mercedes, Mercedes boy. I said, huh? Keeping Patreon, understand? But anyway, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, the so I like her. I like. I hope that she finds love. I think Mark Anthony. How dare you turn me down? In a sense, you know what I'm saying. He came in kind of floating, you know, mingling with the ladies. Well, he thought he had Jeffrey. He didn't. I don't think he had that. How dare you? But he was shocked that somebody that she turned him down. I'm surprised he's shocked, man. Because first of all, you didn't tell nobody you moved to New, to New York to to the last minute. Okay, a lot of these women don't, want, especially as you get older, they don't want a long distance relationship. So maybe that's the you know the young and still you know Mark Mark has to still being young maybe that's part of it right but yeah man he should have started off with that that's to me that's his that's his fault I think he should like I said start off saying hey are you willing to do a long distance relationship because I I will be moving to New York in the next couple of weeks right I so. agree. So let's move on. The next one is Tony bringing out flowers for his beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Morgan Morgan. looked good. She looked good. She really did. And it was a shocker to me. So, um. Tony was playing checkers and she was playing chess. That's what he get. That's what he get. Sit up there and bears that girl saying this. Look, you was with Natasha dating her. You call this girl Marcia. You wish that you was with Marcia because if she was there, then Morgan, Morgan would have yeah. yeah, yeah. had he a chance. Gonna, he was going to pass Morgan along to Lyndon. Yep. And then the fact, too, what else he said? Um, It was something else that I think that he did. I don't know. Just, and just his aggression and acting. acting Anyway, so, yeah. Child. And, I, and we think that y'all slept together. Nick could have. But, yeah, I think. When Morgan said that when Tony told her at the retreat that if uh, Marcy was still there, he go, he was going to pass her along to Lyndon, she said that was the final nail in the coffin. When Lyndon said that. Yeah. So I said, okay, if you knew then that you was going to kick Tony to the curb, so what you was doing all that other time between then and now? Trying to make it to the end so she can do what she did. Did you play this or did you play, did you have this in play to, to pay him back to make him look bad? She could have because she kept on, I don't know, I like it, I like it. Yeah, so she could have been like, all right, Tony, you did it to me. Okay, I'm going to play this role like I'm all into you. And when you get to the, to the end, I'm going to give you a gut punch in the karate chop. And she did, man. Tony so, looked shocked. So we kind of telling y'all without just kind of telling y'all. So basically, Tony um came out and he was just saying, you know, to Morgan that, you know, you made me a better person. Yeah. And, you know, um I he said, you made me a better person because I see how much you care. I really didn't like that because that don't mean that she changed you. It just means that you saw how much she cared. I don't know. That, that was just kind of like a selfish um wording. So, um, but he said he choose her. So Morgan, you know, kind of hyped it up instead, like that. You know, I'm crazy about you, yada yada yada. But oh uh, no. <laughs> well, well person uh, say, um, but oh man. Oh yeah. yeah. She said, you know, um, I see your ways. I see your how aggressive you are. I got to put you on pause. You know, um, and then she started quoting the scriptures. She said, "Love is kind. Love is patient. Love does not take no fault." 
Look, and she went and quote them scripture on the, on the man that said he is a man of the God. Tony a man said, of the God. Tony Frost said, she said, where she get that from? <laughs> she get that back of, from the back of a pack of bubble gum or something? I never heard of that before. <laughs> So she started saying all these things about love, and she said she chose herself. It not right there, he was smiling, but in that confession, you, he was heated. You ticked off. You can't tell me how I need to be to get you, Morgan. To get you. That's right. I slept well. I sleep well again. <laughs> how you say that? <laughs> but yeah, he was like, how you? basically, he was mad, but right there, he was just smiling. He had to eat it. He yeah. had to eat it. Yep. And you know, okay. the, the thing is, his ego got bruised again. Now, listen, you know why she did that? Why? Oh, you're going to play me? Mm -hmm. I'm going to play you. So you went and told Lyndon that you would give me up mm -hmm. for Marcia. I'm going to show you now. Bro, I'm going to take you through this long ride. And bam, back in your face. And I had to say, hey, she played a card. Once, once again, Tony was playing checkers and she was playing chess. She went in for the long game. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think. I think she, because when she made the statement, said the final nail in the coffin for her was at the, the, the retreat. Right. I said, okay, so between the retreat and the, this episode, that was like five episodes ago. So it's like between that time period, you just telling Tony all what he wanted to hear. Yep. Until the last minute. And said, oh, bro, switch your rule on you, okay. baby. Switch your, matter of fact, he go back. He go your roses back. Gave his flowers. <laughs> she did. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> well played. Man. Hey, she played. At like... least it won't be no net episode. So oh, yeah. you know he can keep his hair. So um, let's move on to Andre and Anthony are walking out. So of course we don't know who Cynthia or who gonna pick Cynthia. Yada yada yada. We knew. Come on, man. Jeffrey was still there, and we knew Anthony was still there. We knew how it was gonna go. Jeffrey went to Andre and uh, Cynthia went to Anthony. So Cynthia's walking out, um, of course, to Anthony. I said, yay. I like them together. Now that's, I like them to together. me, personal, real talk, all the jokes aside, that couple right there, Cynthia, Cynthia and Anthony, a beautiful couple. I hope they stay together and couple. make it. They, she got two, he got one. I yeah. think that they can just have a nice blended family. I like their dynamic yeah. together. I like that. You know, they just get and they look other. good together. They, they look good. They together. really do. Yeah, until they have to come home for work. Ugh, get the episode start ready. Big birthday was acting up again. <laughs> yeah, we ain't going to get no interview. Mm -mm. Because, um, yeah. Anthony, this season, we just had fun. We had fun with you. <laughs> and we don't even know if there's none that you do. And you can tell us that ain't none that I do. But, you know, we you did have that. fun. You do that. You do that. You do that. <laughs> you, do that. you do that. I guarantee you, after, after right now, do you have a patient called Big Bertha? He going to say, yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> so, Anthony said that um, he didn't see this coming. Um, he said that that he enjoyed a conversation and um he said he chose her it was something else i don't know what i wrote oh, that was basically right. it, you know yeah no it was something i was trying to get some of the words because he said some really sweet words to her mm -hmm. um cynthia said some really sweet words to him she said that she thanked him for just allowing her to be soft because you know she, no she never seen soft before okay. until she met anthony Anthony is a you no. Know, he's a kind dude. He's a soft dude, not in a in a negative way, but he is. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He's a caretaker, right? He, cause once you care care for women like Big Bertha, you can't help to be a soft person. <laughs> but yeah, so she, you no, know, she never been through that before. So when she said that, she said she never seen a soft a soft person before, or seen soft before. She never was allowed like to to be soft, and he allowed her to be soft. That tells know? me a lot about her past, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because she, she had to be hard, or she dealt with hard situations in her past. Yeah. yeah. So. Hmm, baby, I, I think you allow me to be soft. Now, I can't be hard, but you do allow me you to be soft. You think you try to be hard. I, I was okay, let her have it. Make her feel, yeah. yeah, baby, you right. You so hard, baby. Yeah. Whatever she do. I soft. said, bug, bug. Uh, soft like bug, bug. Soft like a melted butter, man. You don't want it. Okay, yeah, but I make you feel good, though. Get up, baby. Get up. Yeah, right. I make it hard. Yeah, whatever. I am. Now, don't play. 
I can't read it. So anyway, um, so yeah, she she did say that, and she said she will she wants to be a bonus everything to him every day. I said, go ahead, sit you with the words. Come on now, cause you know bonus mom, bonus you know no, children, man, bonus you know income, bonus support, bonus you know uh, you know you know she said the right things, man. Yeah, and like I said, to me they are a beautiful couple, man. You know, yeah. So we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, really rooting for them, you know, like we try to have one couple that yeah, we really this like. Is, every this season. is a couple, yeah, yeah. we root for. We right. like y'all. So, um, the next one is Jeffrey and Andre. The other beautiful couple. Okay. So, um, <laughs> when they were saying they stuff, I had just wrote down blah, blah, blah. He said, I choose you. She was like, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And she's, she's It's just like we're at our wedding, and it's just so, it's just so. Oh man, it's a good night. And guys, I want y'all to you know keep that in your head, keep that in your mind. The way she sounded, the way she was acting, this episode. Keep that in your, keep that in your head, keep that in the back of your head. Cause next week with that blonde wig, and, uh, maybe the wig got attached to your brain, change your brain chemistry or something. Cause she act like a totally different person next week, boy. Oh, yes, he didn't want to <laughs> deal with my children and stuff like that. So, yes, yes, yes. I said, okay, then. That's Jeffrey right there. Not That's Jeff, Jeffrey. Not Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey. that is Jeffrey. Yeah. So, y'all let us know who couple y'all, what couple y'all like. And don't forget, we're going to do our award ceremony. I think um this season gave us a lot to give awards for. So, y'all drop down, let us know what category and who we should pick. Send us an email or uh, drop down in the comments. All right, you guys. So that's all we got. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. Don't forget to go with God. Let God go with you. I was put God first. Do this. Hey! I was put God first.